in this video i explain this clutch in a disc clutch there is a two type is there one is single plate clutch and second is the multi plate clutch so in this video i explain the single plate clutch so first we see the types of the clutch so this clutch is a one types of mechanical clutch in a mechanical clutch there is a two category are there one is positive contact clutch second is friction clutch so in a friction clutch there is a three type this clutch con clutch and centrifugal clutch so in this video we are discussing the this clutch in a this clutch again there is a two type single plate and multi plate clutch so this clutch is a one type of friction clutch and it is also one type of mechanical clutch this type of clutch consists of two flange as shown in the figure now here you see this is the diagram of this clutch so this is the driving shaft on the driving shaft the driving flange is installed so this is the driving flange okay so this part is called the driving flange this is the driven shaft on the driven shaft there is a spline is provided in this spline the driven flange is installed so here you see this is called the driven flange so one flange means driving flange is rigidly keyed to the driving shaft means this driving flange is installed on the driving shaft by using this key and they are not able to move or a slides okay they are rotated but they are not able to slide another flange fitted to the driven shaft another flange means this is the another flange this is the called driven flange and it is fitted on the driven shaft by splines so here you see that is a various slot is there it is called a splines and on the splines this driven flange is installed so driven flange is able to slide on this splines so what the conclusion is that driving flange is the fixed one and this driven flange are slides on the splines provided on the driven shaft the spring is pressed from the driven flange to the driving flange so here you see this spring is there and this spring is pressed from the driving flange to driven flange means it is pressed from this side to this side here you see this is the operating lever is there or a foot pedals so in a four wheel we press the clutch okay so this is the called a foot pedal that is provide the inside the cabins in normal operation both the shaft remains engaged by clutch due to the spring force means in a vehicle we are not pressing the clutch it is all as the normal positions and during the normal position both the driving shaft and driven shaft are in engaged position and they are transferring the power from driving shaft to driven shaft so it is all as the normal operations now when we press the clutch suppose in a bike we press the clutch suppose in a four wheel we press the clutch by using the foot and in a bike we press the clutch by using the hand at that time what happen at that times the power is not transferred from the driving shaft to driven shaft so when we press the clutch this spring is pressed and the driving shaft and driven shaft are disengaged so in the second image you see when we press this lever the spring is compressed and this driven flange is disengaged from the driving flange and the shaft is also not transmit the power so it is called as the disengaged position of a driving and driven shaft the torque is transmitted by friction between the flange and friction disc means when the power is transmitted it is called as the thong, torque is transmitted okay so you uh, you see the specifications of the vehicles the one term is mentioned that is a torque so how amount of the torque is produced by the engine and how amount of the torque is supplied to the wheel okay so this amount of the torque transmitted by the clutch is depend on the friction disc that is provided between the driving flange and the driven flange before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching 
the more video related to basic mechanical engineering and other subject of the mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist the amount of torque transmitted is depend upon the different factors so first factor is the axial pressure on the flange by spring so this spring is give some axial pressure on the flange second contact surface area means that is the contact surface area so how amount of the contact area is available between this two flange and the friction disc and the third factor it is the coefficient of friction of contact surface so here this contact surface have some friction coefficients so they are amount of the torque transmit is depend on the three different factors single disc clutch are used in a automobiles so it is used in various automobiles vehicles when the large torque transmission is required the multi disc clutch are used so what happen when we use the multi disc clutch so when we use the multi disc clutch the friction area is increase and friction area is increase here contact area okay so means contact area is increase when we use the multiple disc then the contact area is increase then what happen the amount of the torque transmit is increase so here in this topic we discuss the torque transmission is depend on the three factor one is axial pressure by the spring contact surface area so contact surface area is increase by increasing the number of disc so it is called as the multi disc means when the friction disc is more than one it is called as the multi disc and when the disc is increase the contact area is increase so more amount of the torque is transmit so multi disc clutch are more number of contact surface disc on a driving and driven car so here you see this is the diagram of multi disc clutch so here the amount of the disc is more here you see disc a so here number of disc a is there number of disc b is there so when this disc is increase the contact surface area is increased contact surface area is increased then more amount of the torque is transmit means single plate clutch is used when the less amount of the torque is required to transmit when the torque transmission required is higher we need to use the multi plate clutch instance of the single plate clutch so thank you for watching this video if you learn something and like the video subscribe my channel and don't forget to share with your friends